Hi, this is Mike, and thanks for joining me today for another Shortcuts sure A Lot 5 quick tip. Today I wanted to go over exporting your SVG design to be used in Brothers Scan and Cut, as well as Cricut Design Space. So I do have a design on the screen, and this is an element from Dreaming Tree for the Waltz RV file. And let's say that I wanted to only keep the trim panels on the left. So I'm going to go down here to my knife tool. I'm going to click on that and crop. And I'm going to highlight the area that I want to save and hit the enter key. And so this is the actual file that I want to work with. So now I want to go ahead and save it. So if I go to File, Export. Now this might be slightly different depending on if you are on a PC or a Mac, and obviously I am on a Mac, but it will be the same exact process. I want to save this to my desktop, so I click on my desktop, and I need to give this a title. So I'm going to call this Waltz RV2. Now you're going to want to make sure that if you're saving it as or exporting it as an SVG, you want to make sure that SVG is highlighted. If it's not, you can go ahead and click the drop-down box to the right, and you can select SVG from the drop-down panel. Now when you click Save, you will have a new dialog box that comes up. And what's important is you'll see a resolution. Now if you're using a Brother Scan and Cut, you're going to want to use a 96 DPI. So if you're not sure what a 96 DPI is, DPI stands for dots per inch. So basically what that means is if I had a one inch line drawn here, this the DPI would represent 96 little dots. So 96 little dots would make up that line. If I changed that to 600, that would mean 600 dots made up that one inch line. So what's important to remember is that if you're using a brother's scan and cut, the DPI is 96. So sometimes I will see people that are exporting SVG files to be used in Scan and Cut, and they tell me that the size is different once they import it into their machine or Canvas workspace. And that is because you need to make sure that you're using 96 DPI. Brothers Scan and Cut uses a 96 DPI setting. So if you're exporting and using a Brothers Scan and Cut, make sure that it is set to 96. And I simply hit OK, and that would have been saved to my desktop as you can see here. OK? Now, additionally, if you were using Cricut Design Space, and I'll save this as Waltz, well, I'm going to put DS so that I know that it is for Design Space and it's saving to my desktop. I do have SVG selected. Design Space actually has a checkbox here because Design Space uses a 72 DPI or dots per inch. And what's great is when you click this, you'll see that this box is grayed out where I can no longer access it, but 72, 72 DPI is highlighted. So that is the resolution for Design Space. So when I click OK and I go to my desktop again, you'll see that now I have Waltz Design Space over here. Now, one other thing that I did want to show you is if you are using a Brother Scan and Cut, additionally, there is a drop-down box here for Scan and Cut using the FC FCM format, which is the Brothers Canvas Workspace or the Brothers Scan and Cut native format. If you went ahead and saved as an FCM file, it would automatically default your dots per inch to 96, and you would not need to do anything after this point. So let's do Waltz SNC for scan and cut, and when I click save, you'll see that the dialog box didn't pop up because I don't need to enter a dots per inch for that. And you'll see that down here on my desktop, it did save as Waltz SNC and it is an FCM file and that would be able to be used with your brother scan and cut. So I hope this video was helpful. 
um, please make sure you guys click that subscribe button located in the bottom corner of the uh, this video so that we can bring you or that you can be notified when we bring you more additional content on Shortcuts A Lot. Until next time, have a great day.